The Mantis tank is a special tank developed by the United Kingdom during World War II. Its concept can be traced back to 1937 before the war, when the designer aimed to build a tank with a retractable combat compartment. It could effectively conceal itself using shrubs, small mounds, buildings, etc., and then raise the combat compartment to launch a sudden attack or quietly observe the enemy. Shortly after the outbreak of World War II, the British company E.J. Tapp manufactured the first prototype of the Mantis Special Tank. Although its chassis resembled that of the Bren gun carrier, it was newly designed. The compact vehicle had a narrow track and four small diameter road wheels. This prototype vehicle was mainly used for technical exploration to figure out the retractable structure, how to arrange the weapons, and how the crew members could effectively operate the tank and assess its off-road performance. In 1943, the second prototype vehicle was introduced. This model had more mature details, with slight modifications to the chassis based on the first vehicle. The running gear was changed to three larger road wheels, with the first two pairs forming a group and the third road wheel existing independently. The drive wheel was positioned lower at the rear, while the leading idler wheel was positioned higher for better off-road capability. The tank was powered by a Ford V8 gasoline engine capable of producing 85 horsepower, allowing the Mantis to reach a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. The vehicle's armor ranged from 6 to 9 millimeters. Unlike conventional tanks, the Mantis had a long metal box connected to the rear of the hull, which served as the tank's control room. The tank commander and gunner would lie side by side in this box to operate the tank. In daily use, the box would be lowered and buried in the tank's hull. However, it could also be raised up to approximately 55 degrees using hydraulic mechanisms. The top of the box had a movable component with observation windows, allowing the driver and gunner to observe the external situation. There was a small rotating turret on top, which, when raised, could perform elevation movements using the movable parts, reaching a maximum height of approximately 3.48 meters above the ground. The small turret could rotate 360 degrees and housed two Bren light machine guns. If the vehicle was reinforced, it could also potentially be equipped with a small caliber cannon. The concept of the Mantis tank's retractable weapon station was quite advanced, as self-preservation is crucial for more effective enemy engagement. However, considering the technological level at the time, there were still many issues that could not be resolved. During tank testing, it was found that the tank had poor stability while driving. It was difficult for the two crew members lying in the box to operate the tank, and their visibility was greatly restricted, leading to fatigue. When the combat compartment was fully raised, the tank's center of gravity increased, making the tank's operation more dangerous and prone to tipping over. Additionally, the tank itself was very vulnerable. Despite its special ability to raise and lower the combat compartment, its small size and insignificant armor made it difficult to survive in the intense battles of World War II. Although the British War Office took a serious look at the Mantis tank, they did not approve of this type of weapon. In 1944, the development of the Mantis tank was halted, and currently, the second prototype vehicle is still preserved in a museum.